Hello and welcome to Hyperdog Digital. This is Scott. Today we're going to take a look at this nice little tablet that was sent to me here by G Tide, G T-I-D-E. And along with me today I have my lovely daughter Sophie to help me do Hello. my review. Alright. <clears throat> so again, this is a tablet by G Tide. This is a tablet PC H1. And let's see, we can look at some of the specifications here on the back. This is a 10.1 inch IPS 1280 by 800 pixel display. Uh, it's powered by Android 11 and it says Go Edition. So it's not the full edition of Google, it's the Go Edition. Uh, CPU quad core processor. It's got a 5 megapixel front camera and 8 megapixel rear camera. Autofocus, it says. Uh, 6,000 milliamp battery. Wi Fi is 802.11bgn. SD card, audio jack, Type C, USB Type C connection. And included in the box is the tablet, a charger, a USB cable, an OTG adapter, screen protector, and a user manual. So, that's it. Pretty exciting, yes? All right, let's go ahead and open it up and actually take a look at it. <clears throat> so we'll get all this plastic off of here. Can you throw this away for me? Okay. Thank you. And got a couple of different things in here. Nice, there's a big old keyboard case it says here. So it looks like, I don't know if this is a, yeah, a keyboard and the stand, which really didn't even say in the, on the outside that that came with it, so that's pretty cool. I think that's nice. You get a keyboard yeah. with it, too. <clears throat> Why don't you unbox the keyboard case here? Okay. Well, now I'll unbox the tablet. How's that? That's good. If I can get the box open. Oh, there's tape on it. You got your tape open? I figured that out before you. Yeah. That's because you're smart. I mean, isn't that kind of what my name means, though? Sophie means wisdom, yes. Yeah, that's kind of what it means. Alright, so. There's the tablet right there. <coughs> what else we got? We got the USB cable. Oh, there's the keyboard case. Yeah, why don't you open it up take a look see what's in it? Alright. Directions. Yeah, you know what we do with directions? Throw them away. That. That's awesome. Oh, here's the keyboard. So, we'll get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, we all know how a keyboard works. <laughs> <clears throat> nice looking. Nice hard case here. And then this part obviously folds back. Let's. Let's get the rest of this stuff out and we'll take a look at it. Here's your, your OTG connector here. Nice little USB Type-C to USB connection there. And then your charger. Again, more instructions. instructions. Throw those away. Throw those out, yep. We all use those. Whee. All right. Alright, we'll put these boxes to the side. So we have just the stuff that we're interested in. So here we have the case, the tablet itself, and all the other bits and pieces. So let's go ahead and see what you got on here. It's a lot of what we already looked at. Android 11 Go, 10 inch, 10.1 inch screen, quad core CPU, 1280 by 800, 6,000 milliamp battery, 2.5D tempered glass touch panel. Okay, great. Your cameras, 2 gig of RAM, 32 gig ROM. So, not super powerful, but certainly usable. I'll take the rest of this wrapping off. Alright, take that there. 
Satisfied. <coughs> what the? Sticking my arm. Yeah, that's static electricity there, girl. Okay. All right. So yeah, you can see there's a nice screen protector already on there. I like that. I like that they already have the screen protector installed, and that it, in fact, just comes with one all together. I mean, that's just that's just awesome. I'm really one for liking to protect their devices, so it's good that it already comes included and is already installed. So here's the tablet itself. You can see you got your camera on the back here. Yep. There's a little flash, so you do have a little bit of that going on. The bottom is the connector for, I'm guessing, the keyboard, right? Speakers on the bottom. You get a better view of that there. Front is obviously just the screen. Camera up at the top. <coughs> you have your buttons up at the top. Your volume and power buttons. Headphone jack. USB Type-C connection, which is where you charge it as well. And if I can get to this open. There we go. So you have your SD card slot. Nice that it can be totally closed off there. That's it. Nothing on the sides. So let's go ahead and put it in the keyboard case. And yeah, you can see you do have some pogo pins down here on the bottom so they do connect right into the case. Like so. Fits in there rather nicely. Looks kind of like an iPad. Well, it looks like just about any of these kind of devices like that. <laughs> so this should be able to fold down like so. You can see that this is already powered on, so it does run apparently off the power of the tablet. So let's go ahead and power this on real quick. Alright, so it starts right up. Looks pretty good. It's not too heavy. All together with everything. It's got it's got some weight to it, but it's not by any means the heaviest tablet I've ever had. Uh, we're gonna mess around with this. Ah see look there you go. That's that's what makes the difference there. There's a little bit more magnetic power there with that part that slides down. Just like that holds it better good okay that that works a lot better but other than that the tablet itself seems fairly well built I'm actually very surprised at, uh, at how nice it looks and how nice it feels usually some of these off-brand tablets are pretty flimsy and just, you know, you can feel the cheapness in it, but not really this guy here. This one feels really good. It feels pretty solid. I, uh, I like the look of it so far. I like the case that comes with it and the keyboard. Very nice. So everything right now seems pretty impressive. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. And then we'll, uh, we'll test it out a little bit. And then we'll be back with a little bit more of a review. Thanks. Alright, so here we are back with the tablet PC from G-Tide. This is the H1. And as you can see, we're all powered up. And been using it a little bit. Put a few games on here that my, my kids use. And just a couple other things that I would use normally during the day when I would be using a tablet. So, you know, just Chrome and email, Netflix, those type of applications, stuff that uh, you know I, I generally use my tablet for, watching movies, playing a few little games here and there. So let's just go ahead and kind of review over the tablet itself and then we'll talk about performance uh, that we've had with it and, uh, and just the overall conclusion to what we think. So again, very nice uh, case that comes with it. I, I like this case a lot. It's got kind of a rubbery feel to it. A little bit of cushion. Well protected within this case. I like it. And then you can fold this out 
originally I had a little bit of problem because I was just going like this with the with the case but you're actually supposed to pop this part out here so that it magnetically grabs and holds it and then it sits very well and it doesn't have any problems snapping back and it stays very tightly very good no problems with it at that point of course then we have the keyboard the keyboard is not a full-size keyboard of course uh, the keys are a little smaller uh, for me and my big fat hands it uh, I, I do hit some of the wrong keys on occasion but for the most part it works very well it's got all the keys that you, you would normally use you got your your arrow keys all your function keys up here at the top there's a home button so it seems to work uh, everything worked very well for me I didn't have any problems with uh, any keys not working the trackpad works normally works very well you got a couple of uh, indicator lights that pop up you know just power and cap locks so on and so forth one thing I do like that I think is a, a good uh, good addition that a lot of people kind of overlook is you got a couple of rubber bumpers here and here so that when you fold this down the screen isn't going to be touching the keys and I know that seems like a little thing but if you don't have those on there what you end up getting are uh, impressions on the on the screen I don't want to say impressions it's not like it's digging into the screen but it's leaving marks where you can see the keys at least I've had that on a few other of these types of types of folio keyboard case combinations so I do like that they put those on there to keep that separation from the keyboard and the screen that's really a good deal now looking at the screen itself since we're jumping right to that the the screen protector is pretty nice but as you can see on there it really collects fingerprints so you're going to want to be able to have something to clean this off with on occasion uh, certainly after my kids had a chance to play with it you can see it is well fingerprinted up and that's just you know after a few minutes of use after I cleaned it previously and it's it's already cleaned up or it's already dirtied up on there so moving away from the case itself uh, again I like the case very much fits very well it seems to give you quite a bit of protection so a welcome surprise and a really good addition to it in fact it's even hard to get off there we go so looking at the tablet itself again I, I'm actually impressed with the build quality on it it's pretty it's pretty sturdy pretty solid there's no real creaking or bending or anything like that in it it seems like it's a uh, it is it is plastic but it's a it, it's a solid plastic it's not a real cheap plastic or anything like that speakers down here on the bottom the speakers are are very loud I was actually impressed with how loud they are as well so that was pretty good the cameras are okay I mean they're tablet cameras they're not anything spectacular they take good enough pictures but I don't think they're gonna draw anybody away from using their phone cameras or anything like that those are obviously gonna be in most cases far superior to anything you're gonna find on on most of these tablets or anything like that like I said it works okay and it's it's fine for in a pinch but I wouldn't uh, be taking any fantastic pictures with it I'd be sticking with my phone so uh, of course SD card works just fine uh, USB type C works fine the battery was easily lasted us a, a whole day I didn't have any problems with battery life it charged uh, you know it wasn't a super quick charge but it you know normal normal charge level uh, it, it, it gave us an easy full day of uh, of normal usage and no issues charging it or or anything like that now overall performance it does have Android go on it so I don't know uh, I, I didn't really have any issues with any applications or anything like that but just be aware that it is Android go so it does have a little bit of difference as far as some of the 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 look and feel and menu items and stuff like that when you're when you're scrolling through and you're and you're going through settings and stuff like that performance wise uh, like I said we put a few different applications on here uh, Netflix worked you know just fine uh, the other videos that I was watching on there 
looked great. Didn't have any issues with the videos. They There was no lag or buffering or anything like that. They looked really good. The, the speakers were very loud, so it sounded great. Uh, it's, it's not, you know, by any means a theater sound or anything like that but uh, you definitely could hear everything good and everything came through just fine the screen is certainly big enough you know 10.1 inch the colors were were good uh, you know it wasn't it's not the best screen in the world but I didn't have any any real complaints with it uh, for just you know your normal tablet it it looked great it showed my movies and my TV shows just fine uh, we played a couple of different games on here. We played uh, Roblox, of course. Uh, daughter had another game on here. A couple of different games on here that she played. Uh, most of them played great. Uh, didn't have any problems with them. No lag or anything like that. Roblox, depending on which games they played, uh, some of them were a little bit laggy. Some of them were, were just fine. So, uh, you know, it just depends on, on which which one of those applications they decide to go into. So you're definitely not going to be doing any high-performance gaming off of this device. It's only got 2 gig of RAM on it, 32 gig ROM. So you're not, uh, it's not a powerhouse device by any means. But for getting on and uh, surfing the web, watching movies, overall, I was really impressed with this tablet. It's well-built. It comes with some great accessories. Its performance is is pretty good, better than what I expected. Uh, it's not going to be a gaming tablet. You know, you're not going to do any high performance gaming or anything like that on it. But I think it works great for just about everything else: watching movies, surfing the web, checking your email. Uh, the battery life was really good. Uh, it comes with some, you know, you know, good little accessories. Like I said, the the case is awesome. You know, your standard charger and and uh, cord and then your on the go ca uh, connection here. So overall, I I was really impressed with it. Uh, it the speakers sounded great. The cameras were okay. You know, noth nothing too spectacular, but about what you'd expect from from a tablet. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. As always, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time on HyperDog Digital. Thanks. Hey, this is Scott for HyperDog Digital. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos and reviews, be sure to check us out at HyperDogDigital.com. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you know when we put up new content. If there's something you'd like us to review, or you have a product you want to send us for a review, Feel free to send us an email at reviews at hyperdogdigital.com. We're also looking for sponsors right now, so if you are interested in being a sponsor for our channel, contact us at sponsor at hyperdogdigital.com. All of our social media links and emails are in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time.